Eeveelutions. I mean, just that word makes Pokemon collectors lose their mind. Now, for today's video, I am gifting this brand new Squirtle illustration rare. So if I reply to your comment with this specific Squirtle emoji, then congratulations, you've won this amazing chase card. Now also, if this is your first time tuning in, my name is Phil and I have created this Pokemon collecting and investing YouTube channel earlier this year. And it's been a pretty exciting journey and many people have connected with the content. So please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. I'd honestly love to have you on board. Now, before I actually get into this list, it should be noted that Eevee Lucians are the untouchables. Like even more than Pikachu and Charizard, Eevee and all the evolutions are just so heavily loved and any Eevee themed set will likely be desired. And that's what history tells us anyway, right? Like, I mean, when you look at Evolving Skies, that set sold out and that was literally just a purely Eevee themed set. But nonetheless, let's get into the top 10. Now, sitting at the 10th best Eevee Lucian card ever made is actually Eevee from Twilight. Twilight Masquerade. This card is straight up gorgeous, man. It's such a cozy artwork and it has so many Eevees within the card. The colors of the artwork, the theme, it really is a well-designed artwork. When this card was announced, collectors all knew it would be heavily loved. And I just love how the card's artwork is in a home environment. Overall, this is an incredibly unique card and given how unique it is, I feel it will be a very desired card in the future. For this reason, it deserves the 10th spot. Now sitting at the ninth spot is the Vaporeon V Black Star promo. Now I actually personally love promo cards and if you're a fan I actually recommend you watch my previous video about the top 10 best modern promo cards which I'll link for you right here. However this unique Vaporeon promo was only available when purchasing the Vaporeon edition of the EV VMAX premium collection. This is one of my favorite Vaporeon artworks to date and what I personally love about this card is the unique artwork. Vaporeon is pulled into a more like mermaid-esque artwork design and it's surrounded by these soft wavy plants. It's rare to see Vaporeon like this and the whole design gives off like this dreamy peaceful vibe. This is easily the best Vaporeon artwork to date. Now not only that, but it actually takes a lot of work to acquire one of these EV boxes. These EV premium boxes have become very expensive and given that they were released in the middle of the hype period, all in all, this is one of the best EV Lucian cards to date. Now sitting in the eighth spot is Flareon from Jungle. Now vintage cards are amazing. Their slight obscure designs make them really irreplaceable. Sometimes vintage cards can be driven heavily by nostalgia, but all collectors love their nostalgia, you know, whether it's Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh or Star Wars. And we all know how much Star Wars fans love their classics. Though while we're on the topic of Star Wars, it's actually a good time to talk about the paid partner of today's video, which is N-Sabers. So N-Sabers actually sent me their Volcano lightsaber, and I have to say, this is actually crazy cool, man. So it's packaged so perfectly, and it's actually a pretty cool collectible I own. Now, end sabers actually have a wide range of lightsabers, and they can be changed to 12 different colors. The product sturdiness is actually incredible, and if you love collecting, whether you want to display these or use them for something like cosplay, they're actually seriously high quality. I'm actually pretty impressed, and a nice touch is that the box comes with gloves inside to ensure that it will not get any fingerprints if you want to display it as a collectible. Just personally, I love my premium feeling products. The high quality T6 aircraft grade aluminium hand really sells it as a good product. So if you're a fan of Star Wars or want to own one of these, feel free to use my unique discount code and you can actually learn more about N Sabers along with the code within the description of this video. Though, this Flareon artwork really stands out. The fire typing the card really makes the artwork more prominent. And this for some reason feels like the most classic Evolution artwork to date. They really nailed this design and it truly feels like a timeless masterpiece. Now, moving on to number seven, it is the Leafeon VMAX from Evolving Skies. Okay, yeah, so if you're unaware, Evolving Skies is literally stacked from head to toe with incredible Evolution artworks. It's an EV themed set. However, this Leafeon is sensational. The colors, the textures are fantastic and the artwork is incredibly unique. It is also a very stable card in the market. Last year when the alt art market crashed quite heavily, this Leafeon wasn't so affected by the price swings. It stayed very resilient. Now, while all Evolving Skies EV artworks are really good, this one is a standout. However, a few more Evolving Skies artworks actually make it within this video, and I'm gonna discuss that later on. Now, sitting at number six is Jolteon V. Again, from the EV VMAX Premium Collection boxes. So these boxes did have three variations. You did have Jolteon, you had the Vaporeon, which I mentioned earlier, and you had Flareon. And I cannot really deny how fantastic this Jolteon artwork is. Now for the record, all the V and VMAX cards from these collection boxes were sensational. They actually nailed it. Like seriously, Pokemon couldn't have done better with these EV cards. 
but this Jolteon is just iconic, man. I mean, if you look at all the Jolteon artworks in the TCG next to each other, you have to admit that this Jolteon V is the standout. I love the color scheme and how well the yellows of the Jolteon work within this artwork, and overall, it's a really good one to have in your collection. Now, moving forward, sitting at the fifth spot is the Gold Star Espeon. Okay, so I love shiny Pokemon, but I'm gonna admit that I was actually never such a massive fan of Espeon's shiny variation in the games. I mean, it's okay, but definitely not one of my favorites, right? Though, truthfully, this Espeon Gold Star makes that point redundant. This Espeon card is fantastic. The green design actually works so well with the Psychic card design, especially since purple and green are contrasting colors on the color wheel. This is actually one card I'd love to have in my collection in a high grade. I mean, maybe one day I can dream, but at the moment, I'm pretty priced out. Now, sitting in the fourth spot, it is Sylveon VMAX from Evolving Skies. Yes, another Evolving Skies card makes the list, though it's hard not to include this, right? Evolving Skies did so much right when it came to Evolution cards, and this Sylveon is a perfect example example of it. The pose is so heroic and the artwork is incredibly triumphant. This is one of the best Evolution artworks to date and easily the best Sylveon artwork out there. The Sylveon V from Evolving Skies is also awesome, but truthfully, it cannot stand toe to toe with this card. However, I have to say, good luck trying to pull this card. Evolving Skies was known for very difficult pull rates and this card is anywhere from 1 in 1,600 packs to 1 in 1,700. Now, moving on to the third spot is the Glaceon V stuff from Crown Zenith. So Glaceon and Leafeon were exciting additions to Generation 4 and they were pretty warmly welcomed by fans. Glaceon did get some incredible representation within Evolving Skies, but truthfully I believe the Crown Zenith artwork takes the cake for Glaceon cards. And personally what I love about this card is that it's actually still very accessible for collectors. A lot of these Evolution cards on this list are incredibly inaccessible for most collectors, though this Glaceon is quite fairly priced and nearly every collector could add this to collection so that just sweetens the deal. I mean, the Glaceon VMAX is over $200, while this one you can still get for a very good price. Now, in the second spot, we have the Umbreon from Neo Discovery, and this is technically the original Moonbreon. This artwork is seriously amazing. Now, Umbreon is obviously very connected to the moon, as Eevee can only evolve into Umbreon at night, which was actually one of the main selling points of Pokemon Gold and Silver when it was released, because you could play at nighttime and daytime, and there was different times in the day you could play. And Umbreon was one of those unique Pokemon that could only evolve if you actually leveled it up during nighttime in real life, which is pretty groundbreaking for the time, right? However, this artwork is amazing and it still holds up today. It is definitely one of my favorite Umbreon artworks ever made and deserves a spot in the top 10. Though as much as I love this Moonbreon, it still doesn't compete with, and that goes to the first spot, which is Umbreon VMAX from Evolving Skies. Yes, the chase card of Evolving Skies, which could seriously compete with base set Charizard in terms of impact. This card is phenomenal. This is one of the greatest cards ever created within Pokemon. The green colors work so well, and it is easily one of my favorite Pokemon cards ever made, and one of the best artworks to exist in the Sword and Shield era. And this by far is the best Evolution card in existence, and I'm unsure if it will ever be topped, though we can never really say that, right? Now, I know Evolving Skies made many appearances on the list, and while collectors love it, it did raise a bit of questions of, you know, did Evolving Skies kind of ruin Pokemon collecting with the price? as it kind of had. And what I mean by that can actually be explained within this video right here. Evolving Skies changed Pokemon forever, but was it all positive? Evolving Skies also has some negatives and some of the impacts that it had on the hobby, which is all explained within this video on screen. Click that video on screen and we'll talk more about it there. 